What's up guys, this is Dan Gibson from Detailed Home Inspections. I'm uh, not doing a wood destroying insect inspection, but I'm getting attacked by some carpenter bees over here as I'm inspecting this uh, HVAC condenser outside. And the carpenter bees, you can see they're kind of swarming all over the place because I got a little too close to their nests. Carpenter bees typically go inside of the wood through these entrance and exit holes. You can kind of see a couple of them here. There's a lot of like feces and overall probably birthing. Just evidence that these uh, entrance and exit holes are inhabited by the carpenter bees. Uh, the number one thing you want to do is in order to get rid of them is, you know, consider spraying first. These bees are pretty big and massive, but they don't really uh, sting. They'll just bite. Um, first, you want to spray the uh, entrance and exit holes or contact like a licensed pest control operator and then seal these entrance holes back up with like a silicone. Uh, basically, it takes these uh, carpenter bees almost an entire season to whittle out the wood. And as you can see, they've got their sawdust down here. This is the frass from the carpenter bees that have been doing all this work. Uh, so what I'm getting at is when you seal these holes back up, uh, after they've dug all this sawdust out, it's going to take almost an entire season for the bees to um, make another hole. So they definitely won't be coming back to this one because they're not going to be able to eat through the silicone. But uh, number one thing is if you've got carpenter bees, um, you want to get those exit holes sealed up and also have them sprayed. Otherwise, uh, be on the lookout for carpenter bees in any kind of a wooden structure, especially fences, homes with uh, wooden siding, or any homes that have a lot of shade from uh, tree cover. This is Dan Gibson from Detailed Home Inspections and I hope you got a uh, nice up close and personal view of some attacking carpenter bees. Thanks.